Wow. Wow. Destroyed. How is it going, everybody? Welcome to episode 16 of my Subnautica playthrough. We ended at a really... Oh, a really, really cool place. <laughs> we're in the middle of the mushroom cave right now, and we're exploring the Degassi habitat, uh, which has been really awesome. There's a lot of really cool things here. I am... Yeah, just getting back in that Subnautica zone, <laughs> which always happens. I sit down to record, I throw on these headphones, and then just listening to these sound effects immediately, it hits me. Okay, okay, let's, let's rock and roll. So you want to go all the way down here. There must have been things that I, I missed in the last one. Did I grab the PDA? You like, there was a PDA right here. <laughs> Let's grab. Integrating new PDA data. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's give this a listen. Nothing's going to attack us. We're perfectly fine. We're perfectly fine. There is nothing to worry about. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If hmm. money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. People always do. We are slowly piecing together what the heck happened over here with these survivors. <laughs> and we found some really cool things last time, like this water filtration system. Let me go, let me go get my oxygen back real quick. Is this important? All right, this guy's just uh he's just infected. Alright, let's do this, let's do this. We have our flashlight. I am not getting stung by these jellyfish. Now, did we miss anything? I didn't get to explore a whole lot. Whoa, 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 there's actually... Dude, what, what's going on out there? Wait, wait, what's happening right here? Oh, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> okay, there's another PDA here. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 no meters way. below sea level. More than a <laughs> kilometer northeast of here. And she needs okay. Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. 80. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. A maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right seconds. about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. Wow. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Integrating new PDA data. Oh man. Okay, this is uh this is a lot to take in. This is a lot to take in. <laughs> wow, and then also Sunny said we found something, right? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So where is this? Oh, it's all the way down there. That is awesome. And our sea moth right now can go up to 500 meters down. So we could go explore that. 
Well, that would be really cool to go explore, right? Maybe we can upgrade our Seamoth just a tiny bit more so we can really go all the way down there. <laughs> Dude, there is still so much to do in this game. What the heck? What the heck? This is already episode... What, 16? Did I say 16? <laughs> it's been such an adventure. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. There's another PDA over here. I saw this one. Integrating new P I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. Yeah. He tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Bart really loves this place. Back on the island? I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The island. The fish, they glow. There's one yes. that's 90% eyeball. Snakes yeah. twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a mm. bit gross. But there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. Wow. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Wow. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> this is just so crazy. Bart really loved it. I really enjoy hearing uh, his story. There was, I could have swore I saw a scanning option. <laughs> What the heck? What the heck, man? <laughs> I could have swore I saw a scanning option. Oh my gosh, bro. Move, move. Oh, what was it? What was it? There it is again. There it is. It's a spotlight. It must be outside. It's probably outside. Maybe not. <laughs> Nice, nice. Motion sensitive. This is great. A permanent lighting solution. Yo, these crab snakes, though. Oh, honestly, the crab snake might be the, the second scariest sound in this whole game. I think the Reaper gets first place, but those crab snakes really are terrifying with that uh, design. Go ahead and shut this off so we don't make anyone mad. Seconds. Are you are you attacking my thing? Yo, what the heck? Relax, dude. Relax. Get out of here. I'm gonna zap you. You're getting zapped. You're getting zapped. Get out of here. Yo, we gotta repair this. We gotta repair this. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. Why is he so mad? It's because they're really territorial, I think. Fine, let me go all the way up here then. Let me go all the way up here. I'm not bothering you. No one's bothering you if this is all the way up here. Okay, let's go ahead and swap oxygen tanks real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, let's equip the Sea Glide. Let's go ahead and equip this. I see you hiding in there, buddy. I see you hiding in there. <laughs> We move this map. Modification station. Oh yeah, this is where I died. So we have just a bunch of random stuff here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, get off me, get off me. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Are you kidding me right now? Oh man, I'm stuck, man, I'm stuck. I am stuck. <laughs> No! <laughs> we're good, we're good. Dude, that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> I want to scan this giant mushroom. It probably isn't important. That was awesome. That was so awesome. Stasis rifle. I don't think we need this. I need I need a med kit. 
I need a medka is what I need. <laughs> Yo, these, these, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Crab snakes, these crab snakes are aggressive. Wow. Wow, that was like, that must be the uh, the leader or something. That one is so aggressive. Where's my sea moth? Oh, this is so amazing. Let's go. <laughs> so much fun. This is so much fun. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I need to go explore more. He really didn't like the sound of my uh, sea glide, I think. Okay, what do we have here? I'm going to do a thermal plant. I think we have this already. We do. We do. Nuclear reactor. We don't have this. We actually need one more for that. We need one more. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm afraid to go over here. <laughs> uh, what is this? Magnetite. Okay. Let's go explore inside real quick. Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. Okay. I really, one of my missions for today, no joke, is to create the, uh, the water filtration system that we discovered last time. Okay, I don't know if we looked over here really. I think we did, but I'm just gonna double check. Yep, everything's looking all right. Everything is looking all right. Now, I definitely haven't looked in this room yet, so I, I was excited to uh, go check this out. It's too bad, it's too bad we didn't, we didn't get to scan the, the bed last time. But we did just get one. Oh, easy, easy. We got another PDA. Integrating. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. We're drowning, so let's if go deeper. If arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and mm. again until it's shut off. Do you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Wow. Oxygen. Let's swap these tanks. Your authority stopped at sea level. Oof. It's definitely been trouble in paradise here. So here we have the... Uh, this is the blueprint for the ultra high capacity tank, which we already have, it says. It says we already have this. So yeah, we're just getting some titanium, but that's okay. That is okay. So we have everything else. We have everything else here. We were able to scan this room the first time I came over here. Man, you know what would be really cool is one day doing the crazy hard difficulty one. You know, that mode. <laughs> That would be a super, super fun challenge. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay. Okay, it's time for me to just get out of here. There is nothing else for us here. I do want to... I am so tempted to go look around, though. I want to go look around the other side one more time, just to be sure, just to be sure. They better not be attacking our sea moth. 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and grab... Grab this. There we go, there we go. Oh, get all that oxygen back. Very nice. You know what's crazy is I swear I hear a reaper. I don't know where it's coming from, but I, I definitely... I really think I'm hearing a reaper. <laughs> it's... It is terrifying. It is terrifying. So there's... Oh, wait, wait, there's something... No, no, it's just another mushroom. There's nothing else out here. Nothing at all. Want to look back here. Inventory is full. We might need to go do a quick... A little a little bit of a, a drop-off. Just go drop off all the stuff we just got. But that was a really awesome adventure for that habitat. And now we know we can go check out... Does this go down more or no? No. Well, now we know. We can uh, go discover where they went to next. That would be amazing to see <laughs> how it went for them. They might even still be alive. There, there are so many things we need to do. So many things. We also have that rendezvous point for the Aurora survivors, right? 
we've been talking about the Degasi survivors, but we also have some Aurora survivors we need to still find. Still find. I, I want to go check it out up there, but that's where I heard the Reaper. That's... <laughs> That's definitely where I'm hearing a reaper right now. I'm gonna go look up there. I am leaving my sea moth right here. I'm gonna go check it out. What's going on up here? I've been hearing, I swear I'm hearing a reaper. I'm hearing a reaper, so let me just swim up towards it, right? That's smart. Probably should have brought it a little bit closer. Okay. This is where it leads us. <laughs> We're only 86 meters, which isn't too bad. Have we been on this side? I don't think... Have we been here? I'm trying to uh, get my bearings right now. This isn't looking entirely familiar right now. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, there's definitely a Reaper around here, man. We're directly behind the Aurora. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, that is definitely not good. Yeah, this is directly behind the Aurora. Are you kidding me? I swear they make the water like murkier once the Reaper gets ready to show up. Oh, man. Well, I guess what we'll do is... I guess we'll get our sea moth. We'll go drop off our stuff. I... Oh, that's a reaper right there. I'm seeing his tail. I just saw his tail. I just saw his tail. No, he just disappeared. He's not coming. Oh, he's not coming for us. No, no. Well, I'm not hearing him. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I did want to. I did want to go explore over there because I do. I do need to see what's on the ground. <laughs> I do need to see what's on the ground. See, southwest is that way too. So there is a life pod. We still need to find life pod seven. On top of all that, okay. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> Let's see if I know how to go back. Oh, this is just awesome. This is so awesome. I want to see what this looks like during the day. Wait, 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 wait. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. It's probably just salvage. It's probably just salvage, right? Scanner room, which I'm pretty sure we already have. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, then let's go. Let's, um... Let's go back to our sea moth. And we need to drop off a bunch of stuff. Either we need to drop it off, or we could use the storage. But I say let's drop it off. We do need to make a bunch of food and all that as well. We should also swap out our batteries. That was really fun. That was really fun. We actually explored. I don't think we're missing much from this cave. That was really cool, unless there's a whole other section on that side. Hmm. And there's also, uh... There should be a geyser around here that I really want to use so we can get that thermal energy to power our base. That would be awesome. Because right now, it, the way we're doing it isn't cutting it. <laughs> it is not cutting it. Uh, is there anything important right here? I don't think so. I think this is where we started out. Yeah, here's the geyser. So I want to try building one of the things to power up our base from right there. The cave entrance is over. Over this way. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, so the Degassi habitat is actually probably in that one blue cave that we went to go explore. I'm pretty sure it's around there. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and park this up. It could charge up a little bit. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. <laughs> Look at this, Sea Moth Dock charging. It'll actually tell you how much it's uh, it's charging as well, which is awesome. So we can make some torpedoes. We can make some torpedoes. I think we got going on over here. Vehicle upgrade console? Is this always here? 
am I looking at? We can actually name our submarine? What? <laughs> we can actually name our submarine. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. Well, what are we going to name it? Okay, let me get some food real quick. Let me get some food, and then we're going to name this thing. Also, I'm dropping off all of this. I don't think we really need the radiation helmet anymore. At least for the time being, because we got rid of all the, the radiation stuff. Okay, okay. Oh, we've got plenty of water in here. Let's go ahead and just capture some fish. Yo, we gotta make some amazing stuff for our base. We have to. We have to. I'm going to double check. Anything on the radio? No. All right, I'm going to double check what we need for that water filtration system because <laughs> getting water has been a massive struggle. We now have food. Let's go ahead and just eat. All right, we're going to do a quick battery swap. Okay, cool. That all looks really good. Um, Man, yeah, there's so many things. There's so many things. But first, the first thing we're going to do is... <laughs> The first thing we gotta do is customize our sea moth. That's the first thing. That is the first thing we gotta do. I gotta see though. I need a really great name. Um, how do I how do I type? What the heck? Oh, yo, we're changing the color. We're changing the. <laughs> Does it come in black? Yo, this is awesome. <laughs> The name, this changes the color. No. Interior. <laughs> what? Yo, I gotta have some fun with this. I gotta have some fun with this. Wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> what the heck, man? Yo, an all black Seamoth though? I would not be able to see, I guess, huh? <laughs> This is so amazing. I can't believe this is in the game. Wow. Wow. I'm making it bright white so I can actually see this thing. Well, we can actually make it a crazy blue. Yo, this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> yes. Yes. Am I supposed to use, am I supposed to use like the mouse and keyboard? Okay. I think we got to do mouse and keyboard right now. Um, we're going to call this... I just called it Mothality. <laughs> Yo, dude, the graphics in this just look amazing. I can't believe this, this is so awesome. Oh, Mothality, dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, that is awesome, I love it. I'm going to be changing the color of our sea moth, guys, all right? I'm gonna do it. I, I'm gonna do it every so often. It's just too much fun. Is this the only thing? So this is what we change. I'm like, is this the only thing that we can do? I'm looking over here. I'm looking over here. When it's like, I just discovered this whole other section. This is definitely more than enough. This is amazing. Uh, we can change the color of the name. Well, I wonder this in all black, how that will look. Yeah, that is looking sick, man. That is looking awesome. Wow, I wonder if we're going to be able to name our, uh, what is it, the Cyclops, when we finally get to make that thing, which I just need to find those other parts, which is why I need to go back over and just look around, look around the Aurora, because it had a bunch of stuff on the inside, and I swear if I miss it on the inside, that will that would be just the worst news ever, because <laughs> it was so much work to just even get in there. Uh, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. Oh, so perfect. So perfect. That is looking just awesome. That is looking awesome. Okay, well, we did that. I gotta take this for a spin real quick. Hold up. <laughs> what? Welcome aboard Cal wow. Sisters Online. I can't lose this sea moth. I can't. I can't lose this sea moth now. We've named it. We've named it. The very first sea moth was no name. It didn't even have a name. It didn't even have a name. Oh man, yeah, we will protect you at all costs. Don't you worry. Now, how do we build that water filtration system? Because I do not want to have to keep making water the old fashioned way. This would be really cool. That's super easy. That is really easy to make. How do we make the multi-purpose room? Also very easy. I might actually go ahead. Let me, let me pin one of those. Let me pin a foundation. Okay, so where's this water filtration? Uh, so interior, we just need some copper wire. 
which I don't know if we have any, I don't know if we have any copper in here. I think I may have used, well, we have one. I'm looking pretty fast. Uh, two, perfect. So we have, for copper wire, we have that. We need one, two, three for that. Then we need this thing, the aerogel. Nice, and we're gonna be able to build a water filtration system, which would be super, super nice. <laughs> and just make our lives so much easier. So I hope, I really hope, I'm not entirely sure how this thing works, but I hope it makes everything easier. So we can build this now. Let's get our habitat builder out. We do not need the knife right now. Okay, okay. Where is this thing? Oh, the spotlight. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I love that. Oh, I want to build all of it. I want to build all of it. <laughs> I also want to build this. Okay, so aerogel you really need for a lot of things. So, yeah, we might need an actual room. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so we do need one of those rooms, I think. Let's go ahead and see. Nice. And do we have any... Do we have any uh, lead? Is that lead or is that lithium? I think that's lead. So we've got one lead right here. We need two lead. We need two lead. Nice. We've got another one right here. I will, Yeah, because we have to build. We have to build that. So this place doesn't collapse. <laughs> Because it has been getting very close to collapsing already a couple of times. <laughs> Let me see if I can build, if I can build a foundation right here. Um, or, or, would this connect? Let me see, let me see what this looks like. If we were to do a multi-purpose room, which is this one. Nice, okay, okay. So, not entirely sure what the weight was of my, of my thing, but let me, let me go ahead and build one of these foundations. Oh, we got the bed. We, we need to make the bed and everything. We're doing it, everyone. We're going to be making the greatest base of all time. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we are, we are getting there. Uh, so, the, what I was looking for was the foundation, which is literally the first one. Hmm. Really, it doesn't want to be over there. It doesn't want to be over there, but it does want to be like right here. Okay, let me try finishing this and see what happens. Okay, can I build this now? Build this underneath. Let's go, let's go. To separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Oh crap, Take dude. This space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Oh, dude, I think we're drowning. I think we're drowning. I think we're drowning. I need two titanium. I need two titanium. I can't believe I walked out with less titanium than I needed. Let's go, 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 let's go. Okay, we are now positive, but I need to go repair this. Oh my gosh, dude. Repair it. Repair it. Is there another place? Please. Oh my gosh, dude, is there another spot? No. No way. Please, please save it. Save it, that's gotta be it. There can't be anywhere else. Oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing. Oh, oh man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the poster was hiding the last spot. Oh my gosh. This is why, this is why cat poster is much better. How could you poster? How could you? We are draining everything out right now. Oh, come on. Come on. I really wonder, so if it goes all the way, does that mean we just lose our base and it just collapses? That's my fear. That's my fear. Okay, so this was the room we just built. Which is so amazing. <laughs> wow. 
Whoa, wow, look at this. Look at this, everyone. We have a new room. We have a new room. <laughs> Oh man, this is awesome. Well, uh, well now we just need three, we need three titanium in order to build this water filtration. So let's grab three titanium. We gotta have more titanium, come on. Awesome. This is a massive room. Massive room. I need to build like a hatch or something so I can enter around here. <laughs> uh, so this water filtration, where is it? Here we are. Oh, oh, it connects to there. Nice, nice. Hmm. Well, I don't want to ruin the view. So let's put it right here. Let's put it right here. And let's see how this works. Wow, this is fancy. No way. Oh, let me see. Let me see, guys. Let me see. I'm going to use the machine. I don't know, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> oh, I think I think it's taking the water from the outside and it's it's separating the salt and everything. Is that what's happening? Yeah, it's going to be storing it, I think. No way, no way. <laughs> okay, while it's doing that. Because yeah, everything's going to be requiring way more power now. So we need to figure out how to build. Uh, some kind of thermal energy device because we need it. We need it. So we need this and we need to make some aerogel, which I do not remember how to make. I don't remember how to make that. Gel sack and Ruby, the gel sack. <sighs> we ran out of power. Warning. Emergency power only. It, it must be nighttime. Please tell me it's nighttime, and that's the only reason why the power went out. Okay. Ah, we need that gel sack stuff. That's a bit of a bummer. That's a bit of a bummer. Because I can't remember where those are. I can't remember where those gel sack things are. But it's okay. It's okay. I now know I need to keep a lookout for that. I now know I need to keep a lookout for that. So, let's go ahead and eat this guy. <laughs> All right, we're, stabilizing. we're going to, this all needs work. That all needs work. Um, can't do much during, during the nighttime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our beacons and let's turn off. So we still need to do this one. I want to do the rendezvous point would be very nice. I want to find life pod seven. So we did the Degassi habitat now, which is amazing. Look at that sea moth, mothality. <laughs> <laughs> let's head over to our life pod and let's uh, just make some quick food and then let's head over I guess around the Aurora and just go look around see if we can find the life pod uh, that life pod life pod 7 with our new and improved sea moth hopefully this is my last time having to hunt these guys down <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully uh, making disinfected water still this many episodes in Okay, now I guess I'm gonna have to just get that stuff off of the screen because Well, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled for the gel sack now. I need to find <laughs> I Need I want to do this rendezvous point. I want to do that, but also I need to find yeah, and this, we kind of missed this, but because everything was sinking at the same time. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. <laughs> and that is what they say, right? You got to separate. You got to separate that. So, the Aurora Survivors Life Pod. Life Pod 7. So, they're 200 meters deep. Yeah, they're about 1 km southwest of the Aurora's stern. So I say, let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome we have everything we need. Well, we're gonna find out if we need that, uh, <laughs> if we need that radiation helmet, but we got rid of the radiation. We got rid of the radiation, so we shouldn't need it. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, no, no. Southwest. Oh, 
Okay. Southwest. I'm going to go crazy southwest while it's daytime. I'm going to try going crazy southwest first. And then... I'm going to try to go up close. Keep your eyes peeled. Maybe we'll find it. Okay, southwest. More this way. More this way. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say no to salt. <laughs> I actually remember. I remember going this way. And then this is when I lost my reaper. My reaper. When I lost my sea moth. What, what is happening? Get me in the sea moth. When I lost my sea moth to that reaper. Yeah, so they said they were about 200. They were about 200. Oh, and this is where it just scares me. Shh. Reaper check, reaper check. Not hearing anything. Let me actually go ahead and look at that picture again. Yeah, right? Doesn't this kind of look like it? It looks like this stuff. Life Pod 7! Life Pod 7! Are you out here? Do you copy? Do you copy? Life Pod 7. Oh! No way. Is that Life Pod 7? Oh, it's a rock! Darn it. Oh, it is deep over here. It is deep over here. Oh, we have a time capsule. We have an alien vent. Is this a gel sack? No way. Is this a gel sack? Darn it! It's a creature egg. This is a gel sack. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? Oh, it's just a beaver. You can't make this stuff up, man. I'm like, yo, is this a gel sack? It's like, no, nah, no. Nah, look right next to you, right? <laughs> that is great. That is great. Oh, apparently we can scan. What is this thing? Well, it's probably... You know what? I don't trust you because of those bleeders. Rock grub. Ooh, that doesn't look friendly. It's a scavenger. About uh, the size of a thumb. It's a distant relative of the sand shark. Hmm. It's harmless, everyone. It's harmless. Really cool. It glows green. It's a mating behavior is why they glow green. <laughs> that is wild. That is wild. Yeah, what's up? What's up, everyone? I saw these alien vents. <laughs> I, saw, I saw these alien vents over here. I don't know why we can't get oxygen from it, but yeah, it's because it's a current. So what I was thinking was maybe slowing it down. But I realized now we're probably too small. Oh, oh my darn it! Get off me! Get off me! Bleeders, man. Bleeders. The absolute worst of the worst. What is this? 30 seconds. Power cell charger. Oh, we need another one. We need another one. Oh, I, I don't want to be stuck out here. I don't want to be stuck out here at nighttime. Oh, man. Well, there's a capsule here. There might even be another one over here. What do we got here, though? Just lithium. Got quartz. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Got silver. Actually, I don't want to be... Um, well, the rubies are very valuable. We need all this, for sure. What was that? What was that? Maybe a warper? Hmm, man, I am seeing bleeders out. Yo, I need to shut the lights off. Turn off the lights for crying out loud. <laughs> Turn off the lights, man. All right, we're okay, we're okay. Okay, swap oxygen tanks. We got some very good things. Okay, I'm going back out, I'm going back out. I'm gonna grab this ruby as well. 
Oh, there are a ton of rubies around here. This is just so amazing. This is so amazing. Honestly, what is the plan, everyone? What is the plan when I sit down to play some Subnautica? Is just to have some fun playing Subnautica. <laughs> Oh, you all, can you all relate? It's just like, you want to explore. You just want to explore everything. You, you get to a cool spot. Oh my, I wanted that gel sack. I'll grab this one. I'll grab this one. Anyway, you know what I mean though, right? It's like, you want to see, you want to see everything. So it's like, I'm like, well, this might be the plan, but then I sit down and it changes. Yeah, look how cool this is. He's glowing. <laughs> That is amazing. That is amazing. I won't grab the time capsule because I don't want anything to be spoiled and those are left behind by players. I liked it when it was just water, but now you just never know. Which is okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out on our own. Don't don't worry. Okay, let me go into the sea mod. Welcome aboard, Captain. It's really cool just exploring around here, honestly. Let me go look around here. What do we got? We got some stuff here. What is this? Oh, this is just for the moon pool? Really? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. I built that ages ago. Like, the one thing I actually built somewhat early. Somewhat early. You know what I want to do is I want to fill up our, I want to fill up our uh, CMOF because we have storage now, which is so cool. Let's actually go ahead and do that. It looks like it's getting pretty dark, everyone. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> so this is the upgrades. And then on this side, we have storage. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all the salt, titanium, as much as I can fit. Rubies, definitely all the rubies. How cool is that, right? That is great. Okay, let's head back over this way. So I guess it's kind of good to know that there are alien vents here. All systems are online, everyone. Always doing a Reaper check, you already know. They've gotta be around here, look. <laughs> look at those peaks, it looks like that. And I'm telling you, it looks like there's a Reaper in that picture. You can't even see, you probably can't even see uh, on the YouTube stuff, but I swear because of compression, but I swear it looks like there's a Reaper in that picture. Oh man, it is so quiet. They said 200, they said 200. The Warpers haven't attacked us yet, so... Oh, man. Immediately, my heart just starts. I'm seeing another time capsule, but I won't grab it. Wow. Radio call! Yo, what's up? What's up, Warper? <laughs> What is this place? What is this place? This looks amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at these like balloons. Oh, we got our gel ray friends. It, it's, it must be safe. It must be safe because we have our gel ray friends. Wow. Amazing. This better not blow up. Anchor pod. Wow. So gas filled? They're anchored to the sea floor by its root system. <laughs> that is so awesome. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, Subnautica has an incredible, incredible world. Hmm. Seriously, so amazing. Uh, am I in a cave right now? I don't think so. 
What's up, Warper? What's up? They always teleport. Or warp. Uh-huh. So incredible. Look at that. This would be an amazing place for a base. This would be a really, really cool place for a base. Honestly. Let me go say hi to our Jalray friend. Man, the warpers are just so, so crazy looking. What's up, Jalray? <laughs> oh, it's okay, he's not attacking us. Right? Are you chill or no? Is that aggressive? Are you tagging me or are you tagging that fish thing? I just wanted to scan this. 30 seconds. Oh man, I can't see anything. Go ahead and scan. <laughs> Just gonna scan this. Membrane tree. Just teleported. Oh, do this fast. Oxygen. Oh, what's up, Gel Ray? There are a ton of bladder fish around here. <laughs> There's so many bladder fish. This is so cool. Okay, let me see if I can quickly see what that was. That's really awesome. Wow, the, uh, the, it's crazy looking. It has like stuff growing on the inside. It will die off quickly if it's exposed. Look how crazy this stuff is. I mean, I don't know if I should try cutting it. I don't want to. Look how beautiful that is. Man, that is really beautiful. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to cut it with my knife. <laughs> I don't want to cut it with my knife. <laughs> We're okay, we're okay. I think we went a bit too far though. I think we went a bit, tad bit too far. Yeah, this place is just amazing. This place is amazing. Wow, I am not in a cave. I don't think I'm in a cave. Is is it nighttime? What time is it, Sunny? What time is it? <laughs> oh, that is creepy. That is just creepy. I, uh... I don't like exploring this area at night because I know this is where I ran into that reaper. Southwest. I'm probably too far. I probably went too far. Where are you, Life Pod 7? Hmm. Oh my gosh, dude, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this right now? <sighs> this also looks like different. <sighs> okay, okay. We're all right, everything's fine, everything's fine. Okay, we might be going in the right direction. It's gotta be, dude. Life Pod 7, where are you? Man, it's probably so much closer. I, I went too far. Wait, 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 what's this? We got something, we got something. Oh, Cyclops hole fragment. I think this is the last one we need, maybe? No, it's not. Oh, what did I need? I needed something else. I, I, I spent forever looking for it. No. <laughs> Let me actually check. We do we have everything or no? No, we're we're still we're still trying to figure it out. Life on the sea floor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge bottom dwelling life form. What? I'm sorry, Sonny. What? Vital signs stabilizing. Wow. 
I gotta hear that message again. Damage to plant life on the seafloor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge bottom dwelling life. Huge. Form. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, it gets crazy deep. It gets crazy deep over there. What time is it? It's still nighttime. 30 seconds. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Let me get this going. Oh, I didn't realize I already swamped those out. Well, it's finally getting... It's getting lighter, so that's good. Oh, oh, man. I know it's around here. I know it's, um... It's gotta be where we were looking earlier, because it looked just like it. it looked just like it from the picture. Have I explored this wreck? I don't think so. There's a ton here. There's a ton here. What the heck, man? Oh, no, I haven't explored here. Oh, gosh, dude. We, we don't have this yet. Propulsion arm fragment. We need two. It looks like maybe this. I gotta shut off those lights, I think. No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Nice. New blueprint acquired. This is just crazy, man. Nuclear reactor, which I think we need just one more of this, maybe? We did it. Awesome. <laughs> New blueprint acquired. Oh, man. Dude. Oh, this is making my heart race. Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. So much. There's so much. We already have this. We already have this. Okay. Okay. Nuclear reactor. We have that. Yeah, we have all that, so we're good. We have the, the propulsion arm. that everything's fine everything's fine well uh it looks like we might need to uh, see if we can enter this rack we might need to enter this rack is just oh it's just scary it's just scary everyone <laughs> it's scary it's making me really nervous looking out there and just seeing uh, just who knows who knows what could be out there Okay, okay. I'll swap my oxygen tanks. Oxygen. We're alright, we're alright. Let's see if we can find the entrance before we go swap out. Maybe this? No, looks like that might be... Okay. Yeah, we've got an entrance, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring that sea moth closer. Let's bring that sea moth closer. Mothality. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, I'm going to leave this right here. We're at 100% health. I mean, that's good for us. Do you realize how tiny we are on this planet here? Wait, did I swap oxygen tanks? Oh, that was a close one. That was a really close one. <laughs> did you notice? Did you notice? Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's head in there. And actually, I want to... Um, well, I just wanted to move the scanner next to the flashlight. That's all. Okay. Looks like we have a couple different options here. Another radio call? What the heck? We've got another radio call right now. Sealed door. I brought the laser cutter, right? Oh, 
We will answer that. We will answer that. You already know. We're out on a, an adventure right now. <laughs> you you get that ham and cheese, though. You make sure to bring back some for me, too, please. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully, we can find water bottles. Oh, we almost missed this. Almost missed that one. What happened? What happened, though? I think it bugged out. What the heck? What the heck? Was I totally imagining that? I could have swore I saw something. Like a PDA. Man. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. I'm really hoping there's some water in here. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> it's a giant cyclops. Or not a cyclops. A prawn suit. A prawn suit is in here. That's awesome. Hopefully I can grab this. Blueprint acquired. 30 seconds. Wow, well, this isn't my first one. It is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Okay, well, I guess we'll try uh, seeing what happens when we scan this stuff. We got the prawn suit. We got all this stuff. We don't need to, uh, don't need to worry about that. No upgrades here for free. No free upgrades. We can't, we can't uh, break through there. I don't think there was anything else here that I'm seeing anyway. Hmm. Okay, well, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if that was really important. Oh, there could be something here. There could be something here. Uh, we've been seeing that picture. They, that picture is in all the lockers. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, wait, where's... Oh, no. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're gonna break through, break through. Go through here. We're all right, we're all right. Awesome, awesome. Oh man, okay. Swap out the tanks. Let's see if there's uh, another way, another another place we can kind of enter from around here. So we did the top. Is there anywhere down here that might be important? Doesn't look like it. What about that, is that important? Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go, here we go. Man, oh, so much. There's so much. It's like I'm happy to find it, but at the same time. Wait, wait do I have enough water? Okay, good. Vital I need, stabilizing. need more water. Oh, it's an entrance from the bottom. How cool. How cool. Well, that's neat. That's neat. So we did this one. Let's go move over to the other side. We might find uh, more stuff over there. Okay. Are we seeing an entry point? Maybe... Hmm. I test it out. I test it out. Did I swap on my tanks? We're okay. We're okay. Maybe like down here. Uh huh. Oh, there's a warper around. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. We got these arms. We got something. We got some. I think it was that was what showed up. We got another one of these. Cyclops docking bay repair module. Nice. New blueprint acquired. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, and, and there's a door here. And there's a door. Let me just make sure we, we got this already. We did? Okay. Let's go through this door. You know, it gets crazy dark. Open it. Open it. Okay. What are we seeing that might be important here? Hmm. There's got to be a purpose. Can we can we get through that? No. Can we scan this stuff? Hmm. Well, that is odd. Usually, like everything has a reason. I feel like in this game, but up here, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe there's another point from above. Let's double check. Okay. Right here? Maybe? Nope. 
Okay. Maybe there's a point from above that we can access. And then it will let you open that door from the other side. It's the only thing I can kind of think of. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We'll head over to our Seamoth. Where did I leave that thing? Right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything above us. Hmm. Like, this is just crazy, man. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Probably nothing right there. Nothing. Yeah, nothing right there. Let me see where I am right now. Oh, we're, we're so far. Oh, we need to seek fluid intake. We gotta go to our water filtration system. We're so far away from the Aurora. Jeez. Well, it's like disappearing. <laughs> it's like... <sighs> yeah, we're definitely super, super far out. Wow. Wow, that's just hypnotic, isn't it? Well, um... Yeah, that eclipse is happening right now. I uh, I might need to go back to our base and just get some water because we do not have any. <laughs> but this was really cool. This was really cool. Let's go get some water. And maybe we'll get lucky and see the... Uh, that life pod. Maybe we'll get lucky. Probably not in the dark, though, because it's crazy dark right now. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh, dude. Man, this is just crazy. How far is this thing? What happened? Oh, this is this place. Oh, I do not like that. Calorie intake recommended. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on I'm on my way. We gotta go explore that place. We gotta go explore that place. Oh, we gotta go all the way over there and we gotta make Oh we got a base, we got our base. What am I talking about? Even better. Jeez. Yeah, that place has some really awesome music. Okay, okay. Let's grab some grub real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got gotcha. you. We've got some food now. Let's go see also what this water filtration is like. Welcome aboard, this system. Whoa, what is happening? Jeez. <laughs> what? It's not really powered right now, but we got one large filtered water. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. We need way more power, though. We need way more power. And it made us some salt, which is really great. Well, thank you, machine. Thank you. That is, that is seriously amazing. That is seriously so great. Okay. Oh, we don't have enough power. We don't have enough power. Well, I might need to do this with the uh, the fire knife for a little bit. Awesome. Honestly, this might even be better. Oof. Get rid of that. Man, life without power sucks. <laughs> Life without power sucks, everyone, am I right? Jeez. <laughs> the struggle, the struggle. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh, uh, we don't even get oxygen in here? Are you kidding me? I am making another storage. 30 seconds. What would be a really nice one? Large. A locker. Like, yeah, this would be really nice. Let's go ahead and, and make one of these. Let's make one of these, but we need some quartz, it looks like. 
Oxygen. Oof, man. Yeah, it's it's tough out here. It's tough. Let me go ahead and try making some right here. Make one of these large ones, which would be so nice. Why can't we build it? Why can't we build it? What are we missing? Oh, we have to build it on the ground. Okay. Well, I guess I'll I'll build one right here. <laughs> I don't know. I'll build one right here. And now we can keep some, some great things in there. We can keep some great things. I'm going to go back into my Seamoth. Oh, LifePod7. You are one tough case. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't find them. It's been brutal. It's been brutal. I'm going to go into our inventory and, and leave all this stuff as well. Incredible. Let me actually go ahead and pin one of those, uh, the thermal thing now. So we need this and, whoa, how many arrow gel did we need for that one? Just one, not bad. And we need some arrow gel, which was, okay, we can build this. We can build this as soon as we have power, but we can get ready. So we need the ruby. We need a little bit of titanium as well. Two more, okay. Oh, magnetite? Dude, did I, like, not grab those? Oh, our inventory is full, dude. Ah, oh, let me go ahead and just get rid of... Get rid of these guys. Be free! Be free, everyone! <laughs> Be free! Alright, let's go ahead and grab this now. We've got that. We need... Uh, magnetite. Nice. Let's go grab this uh, gel sack as well. Yeah, because I'm getting tired of life without power, guys. It's really, really getting tough. <laughs> uh, all right, where did I put this thing? Was it back over there? Was it back over there? The power is back. Here they are. Power restored. All primary systems online. Okay. Might, uh... Oh, I might get rid of... I'm gonna have to get rid of those batteries. I don't know if they constantly drain or not. So, we have to wait a tiny, tiny bit. Jeez, it takes forever to power this thing up. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, let's get rid of those batteries, man. I think those batteries are draining. <laughs> I think they're draining the power here. Get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. I don't know if that's helping at all. <laughs> We just have too many lights and stuff, man. What does it take? What does it take to build at least one more solar power thing? Because it is brutal right now. It is brutal. Um, well, we can build one of these. We can build one of those. So let me just go ahead and drop off these batteries. Let's go ahead and build another... Another uh, solar panel really quick. <laughs> Because, jeez, it is just, it's been a struggle. It has been a struggle, everyone. Let's find that quartz really, really fast. Emergency power only. There's no way it's nighttime again. There was a vending machine here this whole time? This whole time. Okay, power is restored. Power is... <laughs> Power is finally, finally restored. Well, that's good news. That is very good news. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these, uh, the quartz. Just grab all this. Actually, gonna get a little bit, a little bit extra if I happen to see more, like right here. Cool, okay, okay. Is this another one? There we go, we've got plenty of quartz now. Uh, I'm gonna grab this one as well. Bringing all the quartz over, so we don't need to go do this again. <laughs> okay, so now, we, now that we have that, now that we have that, I need to find a little bit of, uh, I just need a copper ore. Which, this could be it right here. There it is. I'm going to build a solar panel real quick, because, yeah, we just, we really need it. <laughs> we really need it. <laughs> It, it's just powering so much right now. It's like too much. It's too much. <laughs> Let me go ahead and build one of these things. 
Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Where is that solar panel? Here we go. Let's put one right over maybe here. Would that work? There we go. Now we have a solar panel. How nice. I hope that works just fine. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I feel tempted to even build another one, to be honest with you. We need a... Uh, we just need a, a copper ore. Let's see, let's see what the power situation is like in here now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Nice, it's actually going up slowly. <laughs> it is slowly going up. Uh, I might, yeah, but I might try to, to make one more. So one more copper ore is all we need. Right there, let's just go ahead and build this already. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it right over here. Have it face this way. I wonder if it actually makes a difference. Wow, is that off center or what? I wonder if that actually makes a difference or not. But now we've got a couple. We've got three. We've got three on this base. That's got to be good. <laughs> That's got to be good. 33 out of 225. Dang. Well, that's awesome. This thing here has been chewing up. It's been chewing up all that. I don't even want, I don't even want the salt, to be honest with you. Because we need, um, if we have the salt, then we need that other thing that I just don't have. Okay. Okay, well, now that we have that all figured out, let's get rid of that. And let's actually, oh, we need to use the fabricator to build that thing. And actually, I do need a bunch of titanium. Oh, yeah, this thing is charging up wicked fast now. That is great. Let's build this. Okay, let me go ahead and listen to this radio message while we're here and we have plenty, <laughs> we have plenty of power. Oh, is this gonna be the ham and cheese guys, maybe? High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. <laughs> Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal what? location uploaded to PDA. Signal location uploaded. Let's see how far away this guy is. And Kazar, we've definitely heard that name before. Wow. His remains. Let me see. Let's see where this is. Let's see where this is. Okay. Okay. All right. That's not far. That is not far at all. Man, there's so much. There's so much, everyone. <laughs> there's so much to do. We need one more titanium. Let's go. Let's go build this thing. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to... Well, we need that. Right? And then I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we need some kind of like power transmitter thing. Right? We need to... Because we, we found blueprints for that. Okay. Okay. Extends the range of a power source, so we just need that. We just need that. Is that how that works? Um, so we do need, for that, we do need gold. We do need gold. Okay. Pretty sure I have a bunch of that somewhere. No gold here. There we go. Nice. Let me go ahead and just leave all this salt. <laughs> I do not need... <laughs> I don't need that salt, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. I don't even need the cannon right now, to tell you the truth. Okay, but what I do need is a lot more titanium. Let me just go check over here and see if we have more titanium. Let's go ahead and take a gander. Oh, we have more copper there. That's always a good sign. And we have even more gold. Okay, let's go build this thing. I don't know if this is going to work. I really don't. <laughs> I hope this works. We can build one of these thermal things, put it at a geyser, and then have it go all the way to our base. I mean, does that sound logical? Is this the best entrance? Let me actually, let me go around. Let me go around. There is another entrance on this side. Oh. There is another entrance around here, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh yeah, this might be it, maybe. Seeing a sea moth fragment over there that we can actually use. Well, this is really tight, jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if this way was better to tell you the truth. Seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I'm already out here. I'm already out here. Where's this, uh, this geyser? Where the heck is this geyser, man? Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, I am, uh, well, I'm hearing it, I'm hearing it, and now I'm seeing it. I think it's right around here, right? Oof. Jeez. Right, is it supposed to be right here? Oh my gosh, dude, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go build this thing. Let's just build it. I don't know where I could put this. To the point where it would make sense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe right here? Please, please. Here we go, here we go. I saw green. Awesome, awesome. I don't know, I don't know how this will work. <laughs> Power transmitter. Okay, so is is that taking the power from that thing? Is that working? <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? <laughs> that can't be right. That cannot be right, man. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and put this beacon on so I can see the cave entrance. Um... It's right above us, okay. Oh, man. This place seriously just freaks me out. I really hope that was the closest geyser to us, but I have a feeling I actually think there's another closer one. I know, Sonny. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, 31 health. Yikes. Our sea moth has seen better days, that is for sure. Okay. Go ahead and repair you up, my friend. Let me repair you, and then I'll, I'll worry about me. Okay, just grab one of these guys, just in case. I wonder if we can build a hatch. I wonder if we can build a hatch right there, because that, that would be really nice. How are we looking on water? <laughs> yes! Dude, give me this water. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so salt, it makes all the salt. Hmm. All right. Well, that's a little something at least. Okay, I am heading back. I am heading back into that cave. <laughs> I'm gonna head back into that cave and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to connect these power line things. I, I don't even know, I don't know. I probably should have tested it out more out here. Okay. That thing gets right in the way, man. Who put that there? Who put that there? I actually might honestly uh, just destroy that. <laughs> I might destroy it. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Now the question is, where the heck did I put that? Uh...
Hmm. Yeah, there's a geyser right here, but this is not where I put the thing. Okay, yeah, let's let's go ahead and move it. We're going to deconstruct the other one. So this is in a worse spot. I believe. I'm not entirely sure. There's a man, this is massive. Well, I don't know. Is it is it a terrible spot really? Let me try building this thing. Um Oh, nice. Now it's linked. Dang, dude, this takes forever. Nice, nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's bring it over here. What's this range looking like? Hmm. What's this range? Will this seriously go this far? No way, it's going this far? This is awesome. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty darn good, man. That is pretty darn good. I think this will be a good spot. I think this will be a good spot. I think this is about our reach. Let's go get that sea moth. They better not be destroying it. Yeah, they better not be destroying my sea moth. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, awesome, awesome. Nice, nice. That's so awesome. Look, there it is. There it is. So we need a couple more. So we need gold and just titanium. That's really easy. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Do we have any extra gold in here? We've got some titanium. I'll grab one. Uh, no extra gold. No extra gold, huh? Uh, do, 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 do. Well, here's one gold. Awesome, 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 awesome. Is there another radio message? What? No, no, no. It's blinking. There's another radio message. What the heck? <laughs> oh, man. I guess we'll listen to it. This is life pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters 500? straight 500? We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Yeah, everyone's going to that rendezvous. Uploaded to PDA. Okay. All right, all right. We got everything we need. Hmm. Oh. Go ahead and leave behind some of these rubies. We don't need that. All right, let's go do this thing. Let's go do this thing. We have one of those life pods. We got life pod 2, life pod 13, and a life pod 7. <laughs> we still we still need to save. I have a feeling that life pod 2 might even be where we were earlier today. In that spot. Because that was really deep. Okay, I'm going to leave the sea moth here. Just double check my oxygen tanks. We're okay. We are okay. Let me see, let me see if I build one of these will automatically connect. No, we're still just a tad bit. Come on, sync up, sync up. Are we in sync yet? <laughs> Are we in sync? If I if I build this over here, it's gonna sync up with that one, right?
Those things better not destroy it. Hmm. I just have a feeling that this one isn't even paired up with the other one right now. Okay, we're in sync now, we're in sync. Let's go, let's go. Bring this as far as we can out here. Oh man. Awesome, 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 awesome. There's our sea moth. We're kind of using that as a as a guide right now. Um, this could be a pretty good point. I think we're we're going to be reaching the max. Yeah. Okay. I think this will be a good point. We could shoot across. Let's let's go down a tad bit. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Next point. <laughs> There's the cave entrance. I'm gonna try to hit that back wall, and then we're gonna shoot straight up. Yeah, we can still make... We can only make one more of these things? Are you kidding me? Hmm. It's a little bit tough. It's a little bit tough. You like this spot right around here, though. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Swap, swap. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. Connecting this stuff. Absolute nightmare. Let's go, bro. It was green. It was green! I saw it green earlier. Oh my gosh, dude. You were right there. It was good. I'm holding it. That's a, that's good enough for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, now we need some more gold. Which I'm pretty sure we can find that down here, if I, if I remember correctly. Like, this might even be gold. Gold! Let's get our oxygen tanks all good. And let's just go around collecting a little bit more gold. Yo, thank you so much as always to everybody who's been hanging out. The secret code word of this video is energy. That is the secret code word, energy. If you're listening, if you happen to be seeing this, this part of the video, drop that in the comments, energy. Thank you so much, everyone. It really does mean a lot. <laughs> I want to be able to experience a base that has great power. So that's kind of why we're going the extra mile right now. <laughs> My gosh, dude, where where are all of this stuff? Usually they're so easy to find. Like the one time I actually need to find some gold. This is a giant thing of gold, I'm pretty sure. No, that's magnetite. There, there's gotta be some in here. There's gotta be some in here. Magnetite. Oh my god! Dude, get off me, get off me. Jeez. Oh my, this is a giant thing of gold. How do I break this? How do I break that? Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. This, I know, I know. I just want some gold. I just want some gold. Is that too much to ask? Here we go. Gold, please, please. He is after me right now. My gosh. Leave me alone. Just a little bit. A little bit more gold. Mm, need one of those outcrop things. Here we go. Diamond, it's gotta be the next thing. It's gotta be the next thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You, you try this mine now, Tiger Shark. It's mine! Lithium. Okay, I see one more, I see one more. Diamond, are you kidding me? Hmm. Please, please. All right, we got another gold. We might need to do with that for now. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing so we have this spot i'm gonna go higher all right it's already synced up which is really good if i can get this all the way out that would be incredible <laughs> that would be so incredible please please don't don't okay so far so good so far so good we could put it right here it's still in sync but if i could get it outside that would be amazing is it still lasered up? Is it still lasered up is the question. Um, let me try, let me let me try. It is, it is still good. Our base is in that direction. So actually, let's bring this over here. Yeah, this could be a straight shot to our base. Let me see if it'll work over here. Let's get as close as we possibly can. 
<laughs> as close as we possibly can. I'm gonna put that right there. And let me see, let me see. I'm just gonna throw it right on top of our base. Hopefully this works. It actually looks like it's, it's shooting right across right now. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it right here. Right, it almost looks like it's feeding into the solar power one already. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just gonna go ahead and place this. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it feeds into that. It feeds into that. Look at that, everyone. <laughs> I gotta see, I gotta see how much energy we have now. We are dealing with that thermal energy. I really hope I did that right. I really hope I did that right. I'll be so sad if I didn't. <laughs> the radio again? Oh, I can't believe we have another radio signal. I can't believe we have another one. Oh, man. I will listen to this. I will listen to this. Radio signal, everybody. Let's do it. Playing partially translated broadcast. Translated? No. Destroyed. Mode. Patrol. New targets on the count of four. <gasps> oh. One. <laughs> No, new targets unaccounted for one, and that is me. They are coming after me. No, I can't believe that. <laughs> new targets. I can't believe that. They are picking a fight with the wrong survivor. That is for sure. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you could leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. That would really, really mean a lot. There's more awesomeness coming soon. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon. Later, later.